Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're going to be doing some books on boats recommendations. So as you may know, because I've been talking about it a ton on my channel, Mermaid Marathon is coming up starting June 27th, which is my mermaid ocean piratey nautical themed readathon. And one of the reading prompts for it is to read a book set on a boat. Now you can kind of take this loosely. The entire book doesn't have to be set on a boat. There could just be a portion of the book where there's some nautical boat action. Pretty much any pirate book should work for this. Um, but I've got a list of some recommendations for you guys that are kind of non piratey for the most part. I don't have a ton, but I'll give you kind of a general idea. And then on my Instagram, be sure and follow me there at the bright side girl. I will put some other recommendations of things that I haven't read yet. But these are some ones that I've read and liked and I think you might like too. Okay, starting off with one I'm not sure if I liked. <laughs> so Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. So I read this when I like first started reading a lot more, first started on booktube and it's been like five or six years and I just thought it was so boring and it took me forever to get through. However, this is one of the first almost 500 page books that I have read and I believe I did it on audio and I believe I did it on the base speed which now seems totally nuts. So I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm actually hauling this book again this month and I looked it up and the narrator is someone I actually really like and I remember feeling like she was bad but I think it's because I didn't speed it up. This is a time traveling boat recommendation. Basically we have our main character and she winds up finding out that she's like a time traveler and she travels like years into the past and a lot of this is set like on a boat and they time travel to different places. Um, so it's got a really good concept and a lot of people like it. I do plan on reading this again probably sometime soon and I would recommend it to check out. Then we have Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. I don't talk about this one a lot but I should talk about it more. This one follows our main character who has been very sick. She has learned that she has like a feather in her lung which inhibits her life and her breathing and she kind of just lives a sickly life and then she finds out that there is like a magical reason for it. So this one kind of has like sky pirates which is really cool. That part comes like later in the book but it's just really unique and interesting and it's got a boat in the sky. Definitely recommend checking this one out and it's a nice quick one for the readathon too. Then we have The Maiden Ship by Michelle Reichman. I'm actually rereading this one right now so that I can get the next one and finish out the trilogy. So this is really popular on Instagram and like my book selling trading groups, but I haven't seen it as much here on YouTube. So this is a self-published book. So Dane is nine years old when he joins his father on his ship and kind of lives the seafaring life and is basically a sailor. And then one night when he's older, he a mysterious woman appears in his cabin. No pirates in this one from what I remember and what I'm reading so far they're just like sailors. The majority of this book is set on the maiden ship so this is a perfect one for the readathon and it's really good. Then we have Fateful by Claudia Gray, one of my favorite books ever. This is about werewolves on the Titanic. <laughs> Perfection. So it's a lot less silly than I was expecting it to be. We've, we've got a lot of historical fiction aspects in here that I really enjoyed that talked about things happening at that time. You're on the Titanic, there are werewolves, there's just a lot going on but it's really really great and a quick read. I absolutely love Claudia Gray's writing style and I highly recommend this one to everyone. This would be good for Mermaid Marathon or for like fall readathons as well because it's got that werewolf vibe. Then we have Fable by Adrienne Young. This is a swashbucklery of oceany fun adventure. So Fable's dad is a ship trader and after her mother winds up getting drowned in the sea. He abandons her on a nearby island and she is forced to grow up there and survive. He abandons her when she's very young. Everyone calls this piratey. I'm gonna have to reread it sometime soon. I don't think that it's piratey because I think they're just on a ship and they're like merchants and traders. I don't think there's any actual like stealing action if that makes sense. But it definitely has a heavy nautical aspect and would be great for the readathon. I read it last year for the readathon. Then we have one of my favorite books on a boat of all time, The Beholder by Anna Bright. This is one of the most underrated series that I see. This is basically about a girl that her stepmother sends her out on this grand tour and she has to travel to these different lands to find a husband. And so she meets all these different princes and higher up 
people on these different lands and they court her to see who her match will be. I thought this was just going to be a fun, silly adventure, but it is really good. The fantasy elements are fabulous. There's great politics. It's like heart gripping. It's a lot more deep than I expected. You so fall in love with all the characters and you're on a boat as she's traveling to these different areas and that is so much fun. My friend Megan read this recently and she was also so into it. Highly recommend. It's just so, so good. Then we have The Girl from Everywhere. Again, this is one I feel like I kind of need to reread. <laughs> this is, again, a time traveling uh, style book. They're on a ship, but they like time travel and they are pirates, I believe, because they time travel to different areas and they steal things. And so I believe the main character has grown up doing this like her whole life. They go to different periods of time and they take things and then of course things happen <laughs> after they do this. I remember feeling like it was kind of okay, but I don't know why. I just feel like I kind of need to reread this one because the concept's really good and I think it might have just been the narrator that I didn't enjoy. But this would be one worth checking out again if you want something kind of different. Then we have Beneath the Haunting Sea by Joanna Ruthmeyer. Again, this is one I'm rereading soon. Not because I didn't like it though, but because I liked it so much and I want to read the second one in the duology. I'm not sure if they connect or if they're just in the same world. But in this one, you're following 16-year-old Talia and she was born to a life of certainty and luxury. She's destined to become the Empress of half the world. When an ambitious rival seizes power, she and her mother are banished to a nowhere providence on the far edge of the sea. So her, her and her mother have to get on a boat and go to this like middle of nowhere place to kind of be banished and kind of try to figure out and regroup. So a lot of this takes place on a ship and I remember really liking it and the romance is really good. Again, kind of underrated. There's a second one. I'm not sure if they connect or not, but I'm going to find out here pretty soon. I think I'm going to reread this one before Mermaid Marathon <laughs> to kind of give you guys more recommendations. No mermaids in this one despite the cover, but it's still great and it's got all those like boat vibes that you're wanting. Okay, so those are just a few recommendations for you guys. Let me know some of your favorite books set on a boat down below in the comments. Be sure and follow me on Instagram at The Bright Side Girl for more bookish and non-bookish content and I will see you guys next time on The Bright Side.